Hello, it's me, Brandon Burns, aka Ratty Rockin' from YouTube, and I feel like doing another DVD review tonight of a classic 1986 comedy starring Kurt Russell and Goldie Hawn. You probably know I'm about to review, but here it is Overboard. Dun, 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 dun. Overboard. It's about Kurt Russell, so he plays Dean Prophet. Uh, a carpenter who's hired to carpent, you know, this rich bitch, rich bitches boat. Sorry, Goldie Hawn played Joanne Slayton, this you know, rich girl, you know, this wealthy but mean. You know how those stereotypical rich women are. Anyway, she wants him to uh, build a new shoe rack, but she hates it, and she pushes him off the board. And the prophet uh, has these, uh, was it three or four boys? I forget. It's just three or four boys. Her, the prophet, Dean has this, these sons that don't have a mother because his wife, you know, died years ago. Anyway, Gordy Han loses her ring one night on the boat, her, wed her wedding ring, and she tries to get it, but she accidentally, you know, falls off the boat and she gets amnesia and she can't remember who she is and her husband, her real husband played by Edward Herman, who you might know in The Lost Boys. He's been he, he died a couple years ago. He was in the lost stuff. He was a good actor, Tal Die. He was always Herman Monster in the remake of the Monsters. Well he dumps her and basically Kurt Russell has this idea to make her her slave to pay back all the misery causing. You know, I like telling her that She's his, she's his wife, and that's her husband, and, you know, teaching her a lesson, and they seem to fall in love, and that's basically the movie, it is a good movie, it stars, uh, you know, Goldie Hawn, Edward Hunt, and Kurt Russell, Ray Combs, the late Ray Combs plays a, a police officer in the mental institution at the beginning, or not the beginning of the movie, somewhere in the movie, and, uh, the boy is, uh, that one kid I remember, in the, honey, I shot the kids, and he was in Pet Cemetery too, as this bully who hates Edward Furlong, and you know, the sh Gus kills him, and he comes back from the dead. I always remember him. But then we check this movie out, Overboard, 1986, from MGM. I got this DVD at the library. They were, you know, a lot of people sort of like Goodwill. They donate old stuff, old books, videos, DVDs, and I, I was working there delivering books, and I. I so always pick this one up because I knew I, I like this movie. It's very so 80s. You know that, you know that one kid, jo Joey, who loves Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> when there's a character who works on the yacht named Captain Carl. That's the. But anyway, this is a good movie, Overboard. You should check this out. And oh, yeah, they, they already re remade. Re they already remade the movie, it's a remake with a. Uh, oh, then you know the actor who played singing in scary movies, but it's. The plot is reversed. Instead of the mean rich woman, it's the mean rich man. I think Kai haven't seen a remake. I heard. Remake really, might be pretty good if people don't like it. I might say like it. But yeah, this was remade. I think this, yeah, this year. But check this movie out, Overboard. If you love weird 80s comedy, this is a good comedy. Directed by Gary Marshall and Ronnie McDowell, oh yeah. Not only, well, he was the executive producer, but he played, uh, what was the butler's name? I'm going to think about it. Here. I forgot, I forgot his character's name, but he plays the butler, uh, who, who, um, you know, yeah, I'm trying to think. Um, right now. Give me a moment, it's gonna take me a while. Yeah, I forget the character's name. Well, anyway, I forget the character's name of. You now, at one point in the movie, when uh, Grant. You know, Edward Herman's character leaves um, 
her at the hospital, mental hospital and he parties with these women. The butler, you know, Ronnie McDowell's character. He, you know, he stays with them, but he really doesn't like what he's doing. And he's on, you know, Joey on his side. And when she comes back, he, he helps her get Joanne and, you know, Dean together while he pushes it, you know, Grant's in the ocean with his foot. That, that, that is a funny scene. But check out Overboard, that's what I'm going to say. I'm, I'll try to make this review a little longer than usual, but there are also some, there are also some funny stuff that happens in the movie where Goy Han, you know, Joanna wrecks the scarecrow with a chainsaw and, um, they play that, the boys play the prank, having her hands glued to the plates while she's selling food and she gets the water hose and sprays them all inside the house. I think this is a hilarious movie. And there's two scenes where Dean yells at Joanna, you know, your rich bitch son Teddy Day, and later on when she thinks she's the mother of the boys, uh, she does sort of the same thing to the teacher who doesn't like the boys, uh, my children may not be perfect, but they're mine. Maybe rotten, but they're mine. I think the Bright and Annie under Schwartz test, you know, you got you got to see that movie. You got to see this movie. You had to see the movie. See this movie already. You know what I'm talking about. Overboard. Yeah, check this out. I was trying to make this a little longer. Doing the, trying to get a good review of it. But that's all I'm going to say. It is a good movie. Have a good, well, hey, I have a good one. One more thing, please subscribe to my channel. I need some more subscribers. Please tell your friends. Subscribe to Rowdy Wolfman, Brandon Burns, and my other Brandon Burns account. If you, if you can find them, please subscribe. I need more subscribers. Anyway, that's it. Have a good night.